look, today many resorts announced that they are hoping to make up for lost business. I'm going to tell you how they plan to do it. Joining us live now is Ricky Newberry, the Vice President of Mountain Operations at Heavenly Ski Resort. <gasps> look at that. Do I see blue skies behind you? Could that be true? <laughs> it, it is true. We've got some blue skies. It's amazing to see. Uh, yeah, good to see the sun. It's it, we haven't seen a bunch of it this winter, I know. which is not okay. a bad thing in this business. But Ricky, now that the sun is out, you also have a sunny, optimistic, forward-looking announcement to make about the season. And what is that? Yeah, we officially announced yesterday that we're going to extend our season uh, into May. So we'll go through Sunday, May 7th here at Heavenly Mountain Resort. All right. Typically, when do you close? I mean, I don't know if there's a typical these days, but... Yeah, good, good question. Uh, Mid-April is typically what we target, um, but with yeah, snowpack like this, we can uh, we can go well into May. All right, I understand you're not the only one. Kirkwood doing the same. Several other resorts. Uh, you've all gotten a whole lot of snow. Uh, how much snow? Can you just give us an idea compared to what you might consider a normally pretty good season? What do you have? We have 544 inches season to date. Um, our, our biggest snow year was 2016-17 at uh, 564, and with the active weather ahead, more storms coming, looks like we'll break that record uh, in the next couple weeks. Can you talk a little bit, though, about, you know, we always think, you know, more is better for Tahoe, for, for snow, for yeah. skiing. However, that hasn't always been the case because I think this season you guys have had to close a lot, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it. we opened November 11th. Um, it's been cold and snowy ever since. Um, we haven't seen a big melt or a lot of settlement. And uh, we've, we've had four full closure days and then uh, a number of wind hold days or visibility hold days mm -hmm. um, just due to the amount of active weather that we've seen this season. So do you find that people aren't coming in perhaps as large numbers as you might like to take advantage of the snow just because of how difficult it is to get up there? Well, we, we've certainly been popular, right? When it snows, all the powder hounds come out of the woodwork and they're ready to ski. Yeah. Um, if we know we're going to have challenging road conditions or operational impacts, we do our best to communicate that um, early and often and be as transparent uh, around what's re realistic for the operation, either in the day ahead or the day of. Right. I mean, we did talk to some restaurants up there who said, hey, look, you know, a lot of people are just not making the drive because it's just been so challenging. So hopefully we get you some good driving days in uh, in the next few weeks. But I do want to ask you though, Please. how is the snow condition uh, given the type of precipitation that you've gotten? Yeah, currently it's as good as it gets. Um, it, it's cold again. We got, um, you know, six inches of snow with this last little system yesterday and the mountain is skiing great uh, top to bottom and side to side. So all 4,800 acres are, are skiing well right now, which is, uh, it's, it feels like midwinter conditions, and it's, um, what, gosh, spring already. I know. Well, <laughs> it didn't feel like spring in the Bay Area yesterday. Whew, that was crazy. But are there uh, different kinds of hazards, if you will, that might present themselves because of the sheer amount of snow uh, for people who maybe were more used to skiing in years when you had to man-make a lot of snow? Um, you know, any things that they need to keep in mind? I think the biggest hazard that we're all talking about in our community right now is like the snow load on roofs. Um, so there's been a lot of snow, uh, snow removal on rooftops, mm. um, just asset, asset management and protection. So taking care of our buildings uh, and, and doing the same in the community. All right. So what are your opening hours? Are you open seven days a week at this point until May 7th? Yeah, we're seven days a week uh, through May 7th. Um, we open up at 830 on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Um, nine o'clock the rest of the week, and then we close at four. So come join us. You think there's any chance you might go till July 4th? Uh, there's always a chance. <laughs> Ricky Newberry from Heavenly, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.